Well, any dog owner can tell you that it is not easy to train a new dog, but there are things that you can do to help the process along. Mm -hmm. Well, Anne Marie Chamberlain from Michigan Humane is here to tell us all about that. And of course, you have an adorable <laughs> pet that needs a forever home. And of course, our sponsor, the Mike Morris Law Firm, will pay these standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet of the day. This is so <laughs> adorable. Who do you have with you? I have Dolce. And what, do you guys think she would look good in some, some lion's gear? Yes. Oh, yeah. Right? Absolutely. I think so. I think she'd look good in some blue. Oh, that face. And she's such a nice demeanor. She is. Mm -hmm. She's very shy, which can, can kind of work in her favor. You know, she's very sweet, but she warms up so fast. Aww. And she is just like a little cuddle bug. Aww. What kind of home would be a good match for Dolce? <sighs> she would just love someone that has some time for her mm. and maybe like a yard to run in um, somebody that's gonna put in some time for training because that really is starting at this age it can be huge it can be you're training like a lifelong friend Dolce wants to come home with me yes. she does yeah look at that, look at that look face. <gasps> try look resisting that, face. that you can't you just can't <laughs> Well, let's talk about dog training. Yeah, yeah. so w what should people know about dog training? There, yeah. there are some real basics people have to grasp. Right, so the biggest thing is just consistency, is that you know, you're know you using positive reinforcement to constantly be rewarding them for, for the, the things that you like. And so the, the easiest way is just to start simple. So oftentimes, you know, dogs have like a natural inclination to sit. So you know, teaching them, even at this age, to sit and, and reinforcing that with treats um, and then kind of moving up as they, they you know, gain a little bit of, of knowledge, you can you know, start moving into more difficult things. Okay, I mean, but with that face, how could you say no to that? <laughs> this dog would get away with anything oh, yeah. in my house. Like, look at that. And then she just gave us the eye, just absolutely adorable. So you say, start small and kind of work your way mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Right, and what if you're a sucker like me and you don't have it in you to, 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 you know, kind of enforce that discipline, then could we hire someone to help us You definitely this? can. I mean, doing some research into some positive reinforcement trainers in your area is great. Having someone that can guide you along in that process that knows what they're doing uh, can be huge. But also just knowing that, like, even though, you know, you just want to give them the treat, like, it's good for them. And it good, it stimulates their brain. And, I mean, it, it is reality a tired puppy is a happy puppy and so if they are getting that energy out i mean walks and playing is great but like the mental stimulation can be huge okay when you put it that way that's <laughs> a little bit more palatable it really does it really does well Anne marie thank you so thank much thank you all right and remember everyone the mike morse law firm will pay the standard adoption fees for whoever adopts today's pet of the week Whoa. dolce is going to be adopted in three two one i'm yeah. telling you yep right and of course the mike morse law firm wants to help you if you need legal help visit their website 855 mike wins dot com or call the same 855 mike wins to find out if you have a case thank you mike